We are Wisconsin Robotics and this is our 2020 rover Tempest. Through continuous iteration and testing, we have developed Tempest to handle the missions of the University Rover Challenge. This year, we simplified driver controls and focused on modular design. The drive system is comprised of a six-wheel rocker bogey and a differential bar. The maneuverability and the structure of the rocker bogey allows for continuous contact between the wheels and the ground, even on the most rugged of surfaces. The differential bar rotates in the vertical plane to efficiently use space. We redesigned the pivoting points of the frame to increase resistance to transverse loads. The wheels are made of a combination of aluminum spokes and a Kevlar shell to make a sturdy and very lightweight design. The V-pattern rubber grousers are mounted onto the outside of the wheel to increase traction. Tempest features a kinematically redundant 6 degree of freedom manipulation system. This allows for increased maneuverability and optimizes required joint energy. In order to achieve this type of precision, the arm uses various gear and belt drives supported by absolute position feedback. A dual camera system provides depth perception to the arm operator. A lead screw drives the end effector to ensure stability and robustness. Swappable grippers are easily changed to adapt to each mission. We are developing inverse kinematics to streamline operations. This abstracts the complex control of the arm away from the user to enable precise movement. The team has updated the rover's onboard electronics to primarily support off-the-shelf components, which allows faster bring-up and easier debugging. An NVIDIA Jetson Nano provides necessary computational power in a compact form factor. To securely connect peripherals to the Jetson, we have designed a breakout board with controllable relays to reboot devices without the need of an intervention. Tempest features a wide view camera, one meter above the ground. Its camera mast is tensioned by steel cables to provide stable video feed while traversing uneven terrain. For long distance communication, we are using two interchangeable radio systems, one 2.4 gigahertz and one 900 megahertz, both proven to meet the harsh requirements of URC. This year, the software team has improved the robustness of the system by increasing the modularity of previous software designs. The team is using the newly released ROS Melodic and enable direct communication with the rover's motor controllers via UR. We have implemented code to detect malfunctioning sensors and update the rover's execution plan. For example, by recording drive commands sent to the rover, paths can be plotted and automatically replayed backwards in real time. For image detection and autonomous navigation, data from a sea glider is used to generate an obstacle density histogram. After applying a set of custom smoothing functions, the rover combines the low density locations in the histogram with data from a GPS and IMU to calculate the best path towards the goal. This approach guarantees an efficient and safe way for the rover to navigate autonomously. In order to recognize gates, we analyze high definition video streams for shapes that resemble an AR tag. Contrast values of these images are then analyzed against a library to determine whether we have a match. The Planetary Sciences team has developed a comprehensive environmental analysis system, starting with a lead screw guided soil scooping mechanism. The soil is raised up by a crossbar through the chemical carousel and funneled into several onboard color changing tests. High definition cameras will allow us to detect whether vital nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus are present in the sample. To round out our planetary analysis suite, we have included a soil moisture and temperature sensor to gauge the presence of liquid water. In addition to chemical testing, our system includes a microscopic imager that will help us to identify morphologies and other significant geological indicators of life. This combination of testing methods will grant an efficient, reliable, and diverse approach to analyzing soil and rock samples at the University Rover Challenge. In order to continue improving our competition-ready rover, we have developed a number of testing methods for both the rover and our drive team. An ARM testing suite combines almost all of the manipulation tests into a 5 kilogram box to test the functionality of our manipulation system. For autonomous testing, we have created a small hardware duplicate of the rover to allow for full algorithm testing in an indoor environment. In the upcoming months, we also plan to continue pushing the capabilities of our drive system to handle ERDM, as well as testing our planetary analysis suite with a variety of soil samples. This combination of testing procedures will ensure that Tempest is fully capable of completing all missions successfully. Wisconsin Robotics is excited and prepared to compete at this year's University Rover Challenge.